Hi and welcome to the React.js video training. In this video training, we will be looking at the concept of hooks. Hooks are new addition in React 16.8. They let you use state and other React features without writing a class. Let's look at this simple example and we are going to see it in action as well. So let's try this import use state from react then we are going to define a function called example and we are going to declare a new state variable which we will ca call count count set count and use state okay then we move on to the return function the return statement perhaps and we define the div Let's close the div here okay paragraph view clicked count times the paragraph tag and let's define a button object set count count plus one the label will be click me and let's close the button tag div is already closed Okay, that is for the function and this new function use state is the first hook so basically the use state right here is the hook that we will be using and it is the simplest example of using hooks and understanding the hook concept okay to see this in action in real time we need to render it in our project so I'm going to pass example in the react dom dot render function and let's start this project to see how it works. So we have a button here click me and if you click it the counter is incremented by one each time it is clicked. So that's how you can implement hooks in a simpler way. Let's try to understand the concept in this example. Here use state is a hook. We will talk about what this means in a moment. We call it inside a function component to add some local state to it. React will preserve the state between re-renders. Use state returns a pair, the current state value and a function that lets you update it. You can call this function from an event handler or somewhere else. It's similar to this dot set state in a class, except it doesn't merge the old and new state together. Okay, the only argument to use state is the initial state. In the example above, it is zero because our counter starts from zero. Note that unlike this dot state, the state here doesn't have to be an object, although it can be if you want. The initial state argument is only used during the first render. Okay, that's it for this video training of React.js hooks. I hope that you have understood the basic essence of hooks in React.js and how to use them. We will be further looking at hooks and using multiple hooks in application, React application in our next video training in React.js. So see you next time with that topic